What is up guys? Welcome back to another Escape from Tarkov video. At the start of this wipe, there was a major change to the recoil system in Escape from Tarkov. Since these changes were made, and after extensive testing in and out of RID, I have come to the conclusion that the majority of players are building their weapons wrong, and that the meta has actually slightly changed. Before the recoil system changes, the weapon building meta has always been to prioritise attachments that negate recoil with a secondary objective of keeping the ergo as high as possible. However, due to the new recoil system implemented at the start of this wipe, almost every gun in the game is now far easier to control, even when it's unmodified. Because of this, I highly, highly recommend that you do the opposite when building your guns, meaning that nowadays, you should be focusing on building guns with a high ergo and then having a secondary objective of getting the recoil as low as possible. Now it might sound silly to you, but in this video I'm going to demonstrate exactly what I'm talking about and allow you to come to your own decision. If you fully modify a weapon in the current patch, no matter what you do to it, it will become a laser beam. Since everybody can easily run a laser beam now, you're going to have to look somewhere else to gain an advantage. And that is where ergo comes in. If you build a high ergonomics weapon, you'll be able to aim down sight faster than someone with a pure recoil build, meaning you can get shots off before they can. You will also be able to ADS for a much, much longer time, meaning you can hold angles for longer or you can snipe for longer. There's also other benefits too, which are smaller but still very nice, including things like moving faster, turning faster, and being quieter. Here we have a selection of extremely powerful weapons. Some of them are considered better, and some of them are guns that most people wouldn't even consider running. I will demonstrate how they feel to aim and shoot, both suppressed and unsuppressed, so you can see with your own eyes what I am talking about. And hopefully I can show you that there is a place in the meta for some guns that you wouldn't expect to be used this wipe, including the Mutant and the Scar H. Okay guys, so here we have a suppressed AK-12 build. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how quickly you can ADS with each weapon build. I'm going to show you the recoil of each weapon build. And then I'm going to show you the same thing again for the unsuppressed version. So first, here's the ADS speed of the AK-12 suppressed. Here is the standing recoil of the AK-12. Here, and here is the crouching recoil of the AK-12. Okay, so this time we're going to do the same test, but this AK-12 is unsuppressed. So first, ADS speed. Look how much faster that is. It's twice as fast. Now, standing recoil. I can't really tell the difference, can you? Okay, and finally, crouching recoil of the unsuppressed AK-12. I didn't even have to compensate that. So, is the recoil really any worse? I don't think so, but the ADS time is definitely improved. Okay, next we're on to one of the most popular weapons this wipe, or probably is the most popular weapon this wipe, the MDR in 308. First we will test the aim down sight speed. Next we will test the standing recoil. Finally, we will test the crouching recoil. Okay, so now we have the unsuppressed MDR build. First, we'll test the ADS speed. Next, we'll test standing recoil. Finally, we'll test crouching recoil.
Here we have the most popular build for the mutant. This is the long barrel suppressed version. First, I'll show you the ADS speed. The difference is night and day. It takes twice as long to ADS. Next, we'll do standing recoil. Finally, we'll do crouched recoil. Okay, so now we're moving on to a gun that has been extremely meta in previous wipes, but has been completely ignored by 90% of the player base this wipe. This gun is the Mutant, and it is incredibly powerful. Let me show you why. First, ADS speed. Second, standing recoil. Finally, crouched full auto. I promise you, the mutant is a still a meta weapon. You just have to use the short barrel loud version and it has 69 ergo. If you run the suppressed version, it has about 30 ergo and more recoil. So I promise, run the loud version you will be doing yourself a huge favor and be giving yourself more gun variety. Here we have one of my personal favorite weapons to use this wipe. Although if you've been running it suppressed, you're probably disgusted by the sight of it. This is the Scar H and suppressed, this is one of the worst guns in the whole game. So I'll demonstrate to you now the suppressed version. First we'll test the aim down sight speed. Now we'll test the standing up recoil. <clears throat> and finally, we'll test the crouch recoil. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate to you the loud build. This is one of my personal favorite guns to use this work. It isn't the best, but I just find it so much fun. And if you do run it loud, this gun is like strong it's not it's not a meme gun like it seems when you run it suppressed this is one of the most powerful builds in the game right now okay so ads speed then we'll test the standing recoil finally we'll test crouching recoil This is the unsuppressed HK416 build. This is one of my favorite builds in the game right now. It's far, far stronger unsuppressed. Check this out. ADS speed. Much, much faster. Now we'll test standing recoil. Okay. With the stand, that was my bad, I couldn't control that then. That was me being a noob. And the crouch recoil. And now finally, I want to demonstrate an M4. Now the M4 is still very, very good when you run it suppressed. This gun can be run suppressed because the ergo stays so high. But this gun can have higher ergo than any other gun in the entire game. It can have a hundred plus ergo which if you run it unsuppressed, this thing, it's the fastest gun in the world. Now I'm gonna quickly demonstrate the suppressed version, which is still very, very good and still very, very meta. ADS speed. Very snappy, very fast. Standing recoil. Absolute laser beam. And finally, crouching recoil. I didn't control that at all, by the way. Now, let me show you the potential of an M4 Ergo build with no suppressor. 
There's the ADS speed. It's instant. It's instant. Now standing recoil test. Pretty much a laser beam still. And finally, crouching recoil test. I didn't have to control that. Okay guys, so I hope I've done a pretty good job of demonstrating the various pros of running an unsuppressed gun over a suppressed gun. And I just want to spend this section at the end talking about some obvious drawbacks that people might be thinking about. Since there's been a new update this week, scavs now push gunshots. You may be thinking running a loud gun is a bad idea because more scavs will push you. From my personal testing, which I'll admit isn't much, as far as I can tell, scavs will hear your gunshot from the same distance whether it's suppressed or not. Scavs are going to push you no matter what you use. The second obvious drawback is the muzzle flash. Now, for me, that's not an issue at all. I can see through it clearly. I don't lose track of my target. Although it is definitely something you might want to take into consideration. Although you could also give the downside of suppressors that they cause over gas and then you get gas in your face and you can't see through that. You can make that argument either way. I think that's all of the negatives. And now I quickly just want to cover the benefits again one more time for you. So remember, you will be able to ADS for longer. You'll be able to ADS more quickly. You will be able to get shots off before anyone else. You'll be able to move more quietly, more quickly, and you'll be able to turn faster. All of those things combined will make it much easier for you to hit your shot and give you more opportunities to land shots before you get shot at. I think getting off the first shot might be the most important thing this wipe. So guys, if you found this video helpful, let me know in the comment section below and share it with some friends. I'd really appreciate it if you could like the video because it helps my channel grow. And if you want to see more Escape from Tarkov gaming content, guides, PvP, streams, highlights, memes, then subscribe to my channel for more. I post almost every day, I live stream every day, and it would be nice to have some more people around the channel. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Peace out and have a good day. See ya.